This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You're watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. Now, watching the press conference yesterday for Jonte Wilder, Tyson Fury. First of all, that was much better than the previous two press conferences that they've had. And we know the reason why now, because Tyson Fury, he recently said that he was asked to tone down the language and the colourful way that uh, Tyson Fury would usually be at a press conference. Me, many of you guys were critical of the subpar press conferences that we're used to with Tyson Fury. But yesterday, they made up for it. These guys were going at each other. These guys were insulting each other and really hyping the fight. And that's exactly what it was I wanted to see. That will help them put a few more bums in the arena and buy a few more pay-per-views. So fantastic stuff to both of them. Now, among the many points that these guys were throwing at each other, one of them was where Jonto Wilder, he got quite animated. I don't know whether or not he was faking it or not, but he did get quite animated about Tyson Fury saying that he brought Jonte Wilder to big time boxing. Wilder, he was going how I felt like I was um, slapping him in the mouth and all this kind of thing for saying that when because he feels that he brought Tyson Fury into big time boxing. So to look at it from an unbiased point of view, as much as I can, um, I think it's pretty obvious who brought who into big time boxing. Now, Wilder, he's saying that he brought Tyson Fury in because Tyson Fury, he was down, he was on drugs, he was abusing his body with alcohol and takeaways and obviously spiraled out of control with mental depression and that. And John Tay Wilder, he said, I don't think Tyson Fury is ever, ever going to come back. That motivated Tyson Fury to get back into boxing. So that is what John Tay Wilder is saying. But that's not bringing him into big time boxing. That's just bringing him back into boxing. That's just giving Tyson Fury a much needed kick up the backside. That's all that is. Now, it was Tyson Fury who brought John Tay Wilder into big time boxing. Wilder was earning nowhere near what a heavyweight champion should have been earning prior to Tyson Fury. In fact, his biggest payday was 2.1 million against Luis Ortiz. That was his biggest one. He'd never done pay-per-view or anything like that beforehand. Whereas Tyson Fury, he has. He went to Dusseldorf in Germany and defeated Vladimir Klitschko. Tyson Fury, after... Let's be honest, two absolute bum fights went over to America and took on John Tay Wilder. At that point, Wilder should have smoked Tyson Fury. He should have knocked him smooth out. Easy night's work. That's what it should have been. Most top fighters at that point would have done Fury. Even Tyson Fury's own dad said to, um, the same thing. So that shows how bad John Tay Wilder is. Okay. Now, that's not to say that Fury is definitely going to win on Saturday. Not at all. But at that point, he should have absolutely annihilated Tyson Fury. But because he didn't, because he didn't, this is why we have a rematch. This is why Tyson Fury is quite clearly the A side in this one because most people felt that Fury, who shouldn't have won that fight, did win that fight and had to get screwed with a score draw. So it was Tyson Fury who brought Wilder into big time boxing. Wilder had plenty of opportunity to get into big time boxing with taking on Anthony Joshua, but he kept bottling it. In instead, he decided to take on a 50% depleted, two and a half year out of the ring, Tyson Fury. That's a cherry pick that went drastically, drastically wrong. Doesn't matter what happens on Saturday, that first fight will forever live as a fight that Tyson Fury won. That's how it will be. So it was Tyson Fury who brought Deontay Wilder into big time boxing. Wilder had nowhere to go. Literally, nowhere to go. He kept turning down fights of Anthony Joshua because he was frightened. He's frightened of anybody who is dangerous. Frightened of anybody. So Tyson Fury brought Wilder into big time boxing with a cherry pick that went badly, badly wrong. Tyson Fury has, of course, since then gone on to do WWE. He's done a Christmas single with Robbie Williams. He's got an autobiography coming out or, or has already come out. And he's got a uh, ITV show with um, At Home with the Furies. So Fury is quite clearly the A side in this one across the globe. We're not just talking about America here, even though he's a bigger star in America than what, what, what Wilder is. Because Wilder's fan base, they don't turn up to the arena. They don't do it for the most part, um, at least anyway. No uploaders do it. Um, um, Look on after the fight, which of the Wilder fanatical channels are doing a post-fight review? 
from the comfort of their own home. That'll tell you that he doesn't have a fan base. And Tyson Fury, he's bringing Brits and Irish and that over to Las Vegas. He's the one who's taken over. So it was Tyson Fury who brought Deontay Wilder into the big time. This was Wilder's only route into the big time without getting sparked smooth out by Anthony Joshua. He didn't want Anthony Joshua. Tyson Fury was the next best option. Tyson Fury, he could have done big time boxing without Wilder. He could have took on Anthony Joshua and that'd be a mega fight. He could have took on Dillian White. Mega fight. Plus quite a few other fighters. Wilder couldn't do that. He flopped when he took on Luis Ortiz both times. So Tyson Fury is the A-side in this one. He is the one who brought Deontay Wilder into big time boxing. Without Tyson Fury, Wilder, well, although to be fair, I think that's because he did take on um, Tyson Fury the first time around, Wilder's stock has fell through the trapdoor. It really has because uh, people feel that uh, he got one truly exposed by a fat man to be honest with you. Anyway, is what it is. That's my opinion on it all. For me, I think that Tyson Fury is the one who brought Wilder into big time boxing, not the other way around. Wilder was a catalyst to get Fury off the couch, but Fury, he'd, he'd be in big fights anyway. He's the one who already had the profile because he'd be throwing Vladimir Klitschko. Something that Wilder could have done, but didn't do. Drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you all in the next video.